We've got more round of 32 action for you in the winner's bracket of open singles down on table number one, and this should be fun. It's the young superstar from Costa Rica, Brendan Munoz, on the left, and, of course, the great Tony Spiderman on the right. Winner of this one would advance to the round of 16. And these are the kinds of challenges that Tony Spiderman really enjoys. Brandon Munoz, of course, likes to play up-tempo, and Tony, I think, would be happy to play along with him that way. But we'll see. And finding that near corner is Munoz. Clay, do you know, is this the first time these two have matched up against each other in singles? It is. One-nothing lead early on here from Munoz as Tony works it up the table, two to the five, then tried to go with a quick five-row shot taken away by Munoz. Trying to come back down the middle, taken right back by Tony. Now, these two, I know, have played against each other. They have scrimmaged against each other and maybe played in a tournament in Costa Rica against each other. So there is some familiarity there. And Tony has talked about Brandon and his brother Joel for several years as these two players down in Costa Rica who were awfully good. And, of course, we've seen both of them here this weekend, and he was right. They are. Tony has evened it up at one here in Game number one. Again, yeah, you put a challenge in front of Tony Spreiderman, however. He knows of Brandon Munoz's reputation. He has seen what the kid has done this year. And you put that sort of challenge in front of Tony, and he's going to respond. He loves it. Spiderman will put the ball back into play. Looking for the lead here in this opening game. A shuffle shown by Munoz. Tony tried to come back to the near side, taken away by Brandon. That shuffle defense can be a very effective one against most players. And with Tony, he seems to know exactly what he wants to do against that defense. Now Brandon doesn't show it to him here. He fakes him off that near corner and then drives it home for a 2-1 lead. Oh, but into play in the quick left hook by Brandon, who hoped to lull Tony to sleep and then come right out with a left hook, but it was blocked back into the goal by Tony to make it 3-1. And up the table off a of man and in for Munoz. 3-2 lead for Tony Spreadman. And that one's going to be angled into the goal by Tony with a 5. I think that was an intentional play. And that one's going to come back around and drop into Munoz's goal. And just like that, it's one game to nothing in favor of Spreiderman. Tony Spreiderman wins the opening game. Brandon Munoz will put it into play to begin game number two. The first game stats, Tony Spreiderman three for seven passing, two for three shooting, one for two shooting from the five row. Brandon Munoz, 33%, one for three passing and shooting. And there's Tony with a five. Clay Toomey actually before this match designated a place on my scoreboard here, my stat board, for shot attempts and goals with a five. And there's Tony again. It's 2-1. Brandon Munoz 0 for 3 shooting with a five so far. Both these players really like to utilize that five rod to score and utilizing the three rod here is Munoz to even it at two. There comes Tony. Spreadman fires it home far side. Tony Spreadman has won the last three Tornado World Championship titles. And nice save there by Munoz, who got the left hand back there to keep it out, then banks it off the inside while beautifully to tie it at three. And a timeout called here 
This weekend could be a historic one for Tony Spredeman. No American, no player on the American Tour has ever won a world championship four years in a row. Frederick Colignon in 98, 99, and 2000 went on a run of three in a row. Actually, it was 99 and 2000, so he did not. That was 98 was Terry Moore. And Tony with a steal, a quick conversion, and just like that, it's two games to nothing in favor of Spredeman. Stats through two games. Tony Spredeman, five for 10 passing, just four for five shooting from the three rod. He is three for four shooting with the five rod. He has scored three from the five, four from the three, and then had a couple of breaks and a stuff so far as he is up 10 to five in just six and a half minutes through two games. As Brandon Munoz puts it into play, opening up game number three. Tony trying to make a statement here in this match, and so far so good for the great player out of Inverness, Florida. Munoz fires that one home to the far side. He's really good at taking that snake shot from one side all the way out to the far corner, but back comes Tony. Tony with the fake and then drilling that near corner. Tony is really focused. And Spiderman bounces this one through. And strokes it home. Boy, what a match he is playing. He's now six for seven shooting it on the three run. Nine for 11 shooting it when you count both the three and the five. This thing shot off the outside wall by Munoz, blocked by Tony. It's back to Brandon. And trying to take it out to the far side. And look how quick Brandon Munoz gets the left hand back there, but it's Tony who scoops it up with the three. We talk about transition games on both sides of the table. Just remarkable. And that blocked up into the air and off the table by Munoz. Brandon will put the ball back into play, trailing 2-1, trailing two games to nothing. Brandon tried to come down the middle with a pull shot. And then stuffed back into the goal. Another defensive score for Tony Spredeman. He's up 3-1. Length of the match so far, just over nine minutes. And it's match point for Tony. Wow. Wow. And that deserved a double wow. 4-1 lead, and Tony can put it away right here. In one of the shortest matches I think we have seen in a long time, maybe ever, Tony Spredeman defeats Brandon Munoz to advance to the round of 16. He beat him three straight games in nine and a half minutes. Let's look at the final numbers for that one. Tony Spredeman, 8 of 13, passing the ball at 62%. 8 for 10, shooting at 80%. He was also 3 for 4, shooting with the 5. That's 75%. Cleared at 67%. Passed 2 to the 5 at 83%. Brandon Munoz, 4 for 12, passing. That's 33%. Brandon, in the entire match, had 7 shots. Scored 3 of them. That's 43%. None of the other statistics really even worth mentioning, except for the one where Tony outscored Brandon 15 to six in a match that officially was nine minutes and 38 seconds in length. Wow.